stages. I had no idea Lady Beverly was one of your people. You might have told me before I embarrassed myself. Okay, don't start a conversation when I'm going into a mission. Oh yeah, okay. into ancient elven place yes because I brought Solis because he's our uh, export it wasn't an expert in this sort of thing he went to the fade several times <laughs> and I brought the other too, just because I feel like it. I don't know, they might be still be here. I'm glad you understood that. See, that's why I brought Solus along. He's, he's a resident expert in this kind of stuff. If you brought anybody else, they wouldn't know a thing of what was going on. The room over here is actually a, it's a magical berry here, but it's invisible. Since it's a Vamatorian. It's one of those uh, people that disappear and they stab you in the back. Why they decided to wear a gesture outfit, I don't know. Because it's water. Water puts out fire. Even that special kind of fire. Go back and get it. Red. Ooh, what's this? What's this room? Nope. Oh, 
Okay. Probably opens on the other side. Out of seven. Now I actually <laughs> struggled for the longest time to find all seven of those clips. I've only found six of them for the longest time, but I finally found the last one. <laughs> Turns out it was right in front of my face and I didn't see it. Uh, this place can be a bit of a maze if you don't know where you're going. But if you like go into like a circle motion around the room, you should be good. Now this door right here, this gate right here is locked. You need a key. So, let's go find said key. It's not every door can be unlocked with the road. Oftentimes you come across doors that require keys. Speaking of keys, we found the key. Oh. 
It didn't take very long to find the key to the gate. An explorer. Or killed him, I wonder. I don't know, but whatever it was, it left him in the fetal position. There's a, a different a new plant that's around here somewhere. It's called a ghoul's beard. Uh but some reason they won't let you pick it. I don't know why. We haven't actually come across said ghoul's beard yet. But uh, they won't let you grab it. Even though it like lights up like you can. But it just like just won't let me. Yep, right there. The walls are functioning again. Right next to another body. Oh, <laughs> okay, that was my bad. I got too close to that water. Alright, we're gonna grab this one. We're gonna be attacked by some, uh, not some, a couple of of uh, arcade product. Two of them. Oh, of course, of course. Jump over the tree. That's 
the secrets. And there's the last one. It was right there the whole time. This was the one that I kept missing. It was this one. Uh, it was right there. You know, just in case you're wondering, no, I didn't look that one up. I found it by myself. By coincidence. We're going to be attacked by horrors again. One left. Alright, we don't need the torch anymore, so we can leave it. Hard and hard time. Wow, another copy of one of your books. What's it doing in an ancient elven ruin? Bark. All right. Give this a save before we do this. Now. 
It's been sitting there for a while. I was a panic touch. Uh, this fight we're about to do is one of, going to be one of the longest and hardest fights in the game. It summons a despair demon, but this one is the toughest despair demon will ever face in the game. Because it has a lot of help. And they put a shield around its health. A shield that is some reason is taking forever to go down. The game is glitching out. I don't remember the shield going down, taking that long to go down.
if only that dispel spell actually dispel shields and stuff. <laughs> that would be nice. It shields our enemies. Like I said, this is one of, this is, uh, I would say one of the toughest, it is the toughest despair demon will ever face, because it takes a damn long to kill it. Yeah, like I said, that fight, that fight takes forever. It's one of the toughest fights in the game. Like, there are fights that are tougher, but... Luckily, that's the only despair demon like that. I mean, I know that there's despair demons that put shields up around their health bar and stuff like that, but... That's the only one that takes forever. I'll go over the all the good stuff, uh, inventory stuff off camera of course as usual. So I'm sure you guys are just bored watching me go do this. Now because this is a dungeon we can't just like like go to world map and stress travel out. We have to go out the way we came in.
There's always that delay right there before they show up. Tonight, I believe that Lily has located the mayor of Crestwood. Judgment will be laid upon him. Oh, that's going to be a long one. Lucky you guys don't have to wait for that to happen. I, I'll do that off camera as always. Now let us lay upon some judgment before I call it night. It takes a while for stuff to render in. And you leave the room and come back again. I don't know why, but it's just. It's just that. Uh, anyway. Yeah, you said nearly, nearly. That doesn't mean that everyone had the blight, okay? I saw all those souls, especially in the mines, okay? The mines were swarmed with lost souls of those who have died in the floods because of you. Choices 
I understand that what he did was 10 years ago, and he did, some people still would think that he did it for a good reason, I mean, it's to prevent the spread of the blight, but at the same time, he murdered lots of people that weren't infected by the blight. He didn't even bother to try to evacuate Old Crestwood before he flooded it. He just killed everybody. So I, be I believe that his death was uh, just deserves. Because if I had exiled him, he could have just done the same thing elsewhere. And if I imprisoned him, he would be sitting nice and pretty in the cell with three meals a day. Anyway, I'm going to close quits for tonight. Uh, next time we come back, we'll be heading off to the Winter Palace. We'll be next time. Bye.